Hello, today I'm going to be looking at Back to the Old House by The Smiths. It's been a while since I looked at any Smiths songs. Um, what, what seems like ages ago now, I did do a lesson on This Charming Man. Always intended to look at some more Smith stuff. I think if I had my way and if I had the time, I'd probably devote an entire YouTube channel just to looking at Smiths songs. But sadly, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. So we're just going to have to make do with this one song for now. And uh, it's a fantastic song. I suppose it's one of the Smiths lesser known tracks. I originally came across it on the Hatful of Hollow compilation record. I think it, originally it was a B-side and uh, I was reintroduced to it again more recently when somebody that I teach asked if they could learn it. So I went back and listened to the song and uh, figured out how, how it went and I've uh, been, been playing it ever since really. And it really is a great finger style piece, um, clearly indebted to some of those great British folk finger style players who I think Johnny Marr has uh, has said that he's influenced by people like Bert Jansch and uh, John Renborn and it's a, a really fun and quite challenging uh, finger style piece to play so uh, I'm just going to bring the camera a bit closer and I'll take you through it. So I've got a capo on here at the second fret and I'm playing this song in the key of C um, in and around a kind of C chord shape though of course with the capo it's sounding two frets higher um, in the key of, of D. And uh, I mean, in fact, on the recording, it's uh, not exactly um, bang on concert pitch. I think it's either slightly sharp or, or, or slightly flat for, for whatever reason. Um, in my picking hand, um, I'm playing this piece finger style. And uh, I'm in fact using a thumb pick, which I've been, been playing with a little bit lately, um, just because I don't really have a nail on my thumb and it gives a bit more clarity and, and definition to the bass notes. Of course, you don't need to use a thumb pick. Um, it works perfectly well without just playing with the, uh, the, the, the fingers and, and the thumb on your picking hand. Um, so let's get started on the actual piece. I'm just going to take you through it bar by bar, I think. Um, I have written out this whole piece in music and in tab. I'll post a link to that underneath this video. Um, you might want to follow along with that because uh, some of this uh, finger style stuff can be a bit tricky to describe and it might be easier if you just see it kind of vi visually written down in, in tab and music form. Now the, the first phrase then goes like this. We've got I'm going to start by holding down a, a C chord shape here, down in the in the first position. I, I think it helps with with this piece and with a lot of finger style stuff to think in terms of chord shapes, even when you're not necessarily playing all of the notes in these chords. I think it just just helps to hold down the shapes, and then everything can ring together, and the, the whole thing will just sound a bit more smooth. So if we start with this C chord shape, and uh, in fact we're just going to lift up the index finger, so we've got a a C major 7 sound and we're going to play the A string and the B string together then I'm going to play the D string which I'm holding down at the second fret then I'm going to put my index finger down and play the uh, second string twice then um, I've kind of got a little walk down on, on, the, on the bass notes there so the third fret second fret and open A string. Um, then I've got the second fret on the D string, which I'm still holding down from the, the C chord shape, and then the open G string. Um, then I've got this, um, which um, you can kind of see this as an F chord shape, I think. I'm playing the third fret on the A together with the second fret on the G, and then I'm playing the third fret on the D. Then I'm switching to this, third fret on the low E and open G. So, so all of that just put together is... And in terms of those chord shapes that I was just talking about, you can see it as going from a C chord or a, or a C major 7 chord going down to an A minor 7 shape and then you've got a brief F and a G and uh, I think it really helps just to, to hold those chord shapes down where possible. Um, just helps to get the whole thing smooth. Now as far as the, the, the picking hand goes, um, I don't think there's any one sort of right way to, to, to play this. Um, I've no idea exactly how 
Johnny Marr would would pick this piece in his right hand. I couldn't see any video footage of him playing the song or, or, or anything like, like that. So um, there, there are no sort of hard and fast rules. It's not like some of the finger style pieces you get where there's a very obvious thumb part that keeps going through the, the, the whole piece. But um, what, what I'm generally doing is I'm playing the, the very lowest bass notes with, with my thumb and then I'm using a combination of sort of index finger, middle finger, occasionally a bit of ring finger to play the, the, the other notes. So with this first bar, for instance, I'm playing thumb and, and middle finger. Um, then I'm picking that note with my index finger, middle finger there, then thumb, index middle, and then here I'm playing middle and uh, thumb, index, and then thumb and middle. That's, that's what works for me. You don't necessarily have to, to, to do that. Um, just experiment with, a, with, with, a, with a, a few different ways of doing it and, and see what works best for you. Um, so we've, uh, we've got the first phrase. Um, now the rest of the, uh, the introduction is actually very similar. We've just got some variations on that basic phrase. So the next bar goes like this. Um, so really only one note different. It's the melody that is different there. And instead of um, open in the first fret we've got open and then a high E string in there so so that's the only difference in the second but then we've got this uh, again a few more variations on that basic pattern we've got uh, the, the melody is now open uh, open B, first fret, and then open G string. Walking down that bass run again. This time we've got we've got the the top two strings. So the 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 high B, which we're holding down at the first fret, and then the high E. And then we've got the F chord shape. Um, just a slight variation in the right hand here. I'm playing the A and the B strings. And then the D, and then the uh, the G shape, the third fret, and the open B. So, so that the this is the third bar goes. Now, then we've got um, a little kind of turnaround section, which which leads into the first verse. So. Um, starts on the C shape we're playing the, the A and the B strings and the the, uh, the D string then we've got a little melody uh, on the top strings that's third fret on the B uh, open E back to third fret on the B to first fret on the B um, then um, another little chord shape here but I suppose this is a, a kind of a D um, D sus sus two. Um, I'm holding down the second fret on the G, third fret on the B. Um, playing the B and the D strings together. Then the G string. Open high E, and then we've got that quick F to, to G move again. So that bar all together is. And that's the the whole introduction to the song. If I just play all of that quite slowly, we have um, and I, I should just mention something about the rhythm to this. I, Suppose this piece is in kind of a 12-8 uh, time signature. So we're feeling the, the beat in groups of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So we've got a kind of slow four count and each, each beat is divided into three. One, two, three, four. Um, 
um, and, and so on. So um, that's the introduction to the the tune, and it's, it's really the, the verse as well. Um, um, we, we go on into the verse. And it's exactly the same thing. I think we, we play those first uh, first four bars again. Then we've got another couple of bars which are very similar. We've got... Um, uh, uh, um, so very similar to what we've had before. Um, again, to, to clarify all of this, it might be good just to look at the, the tab and the music and I'll, I'll take you through precisely what's going on. But then we're into the, uh, the, the, the second section of the song. I don't know what to call it exactly. Maybe I'll just call it the B section of the song. It um, goes like this. into the, the main section of the song. So you can hear in that B section that it kind of goes off somewhere quite different. We've got some uh, quite interesting chord things going on there. Um, starts like this. We've got um, just a simple F chord shape here and uh, we're going to play this. Uh, just playing the, uh, the, 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 the D and the B strings together and then G, B, E and then D, G. We're going to a kind of a G sound um, with some melody notes on top. So I'm playing the, I'm holding the third fret on the low E, playing the open B together with that, and an open D, and then I've got one to three on the B, the D string again, and then an open top string. Um, then we've got. Again, a nice kind of uh, variation on the on the F chord there. We've got we've got the the, uh, the ninth in there as well. So kind of a F add add nine kind of a a sound or a sus sus two perhaps. Um, um, so I've got the the third fret on the A and the D, open G, and then first fret on the the B and the high E. Uh, really really nice sounding chord. And, I, and I'm playing this. So the A and the B together, uh, then the D and the G, top high E string, and then A and D again. And again, up to you how you approach this in your picking hand. I think I'm, I'm playing this with the, the thumb and the and the, the ring finger. Um, uh, then thumb and index finger ring finger on top and then thumb and index finger but uh, again a, a few possibilities there um, then into this now, uh, again probably based around a G chord shape here um, playing the, the third fret on the low E open B open D and then one to three on the B string. Then I'm playing the second fret on the A string and an open B string. Um, the next bar is really just the same thing. We've got that F uh, sort of sus two shape again. And more of this G. With just a variation at the last note. It goes to the high E instead. Um, into this bit. And all of this is based around a, a sort of E minor seven shape. So playing the second fret on the A and the D and the third fret on the on the B. I, I'm fingering it like this with my index finger, second finger, third finger. You, you could uh, you could sort of 
uh, find some alternative fingerings for, for that if you want to. Uh, but this is the way I'm doing it. So I'm playing a low E, then the A, and the D, then the B, then the A again, and then the open top string. Then we've got this nice nice little move playing kind of a C chord shape um, A D and G strings and then just moving that shape two frets higher sliding it up to a couple of frets uh, back to this E minor 7 thing uh, with just a variation in in the top note instead of going um, it goes to the open B instead and then this same sliding move back to the E minor 7 shape um, uh, that's not quite right what, what is it no, that, that's it so just hold, holding down the <laughs> the E minor 7 shape and I'm playing one two three four five six so uh, string wise that's the E A D and then B G D Then, uh, I think this is my favourite chord in, in this piece, it's a, lo it's a lovely kind of, um, what would that be, I guess a uh, B, B minor, B minor 11 I think. Um, so holding down the 2nd fret on the A, open D and then the 2nd fret on the G and the B and an open high E, it's a lo lovely chord. And I, I'm picking that, the, the A string, the D, G, B, then the A, and then the top string. You need to take care with that chord, I think, just to sort of have all your fingers neatly in that shape. It's quite a tricky chord to get everything to ring clearly. So you're just going to be need, need to be nice and accurate with your, your left hand fretting there. Uh, then we into the last bit really we've got um, uh, all, all around it a G chord shape here with um, the third fret held down on the B string um, as well and we, we're playing um, uh, the low E and then the A and then the open G then I'm playing the B and the A strings together followed by the open D and the open G so and we're just repeating that another couple of times um, so that bar is um, I think you can just hear an open A string there just on the way to the next chord which is this um, I think one of Johnny Marr's favorite chords this one it's a, it's a major seven chord um, playing the the first fret on the A third fret on the D second fret on the G third fret on the B and the the, the picking pattern is this so I'm playing the A and the B strings together so thumb and finger and then I'm playing the D and the G strings with uh, two of my fingers playing that three times and then we've got um, the, the, the melody kind of reintroduces itself and we go back into the main section of the song so we just got the open high E, uh, third fret on the B and open B. Um, then we're back into the main section of the song so uh, I'm just going to play that B section for you slowly all, all the way through it's quite quite complex I think so we're, we're starting off with this this simple F shape and we've got into the G then to the F uh, uh, what did I call that <laughs> F sus 2 G F sus 2 again E minor 7, this little slide, E 
minor 7 again, B minor 11, and then to G, and then the major 7, back to the intro. And that's pretty much all there is to the song. Um, it then goes round again, there's another verse, another B section, and then comes back to the, the, the introduction um, to, to, to end the song. Um, listen to the original recording closely and you shouldn't have too many uh, problems putting all of that together, I don't think. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you have some fun learning to play this song. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, do check out some of the other videos on my channel and on my website. As I said, I've done uh, another Smith's lesson on This Charming Man. Um, also done quite a few other finger style pieces, including a bit of Bert Jansch. So you, you might want to check out those lessons as well. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.